An IOGP member company offered this well control incident to share learnings and to prevent similar incidents from occurring. A development oil production well had been drilled to TD. A lower completion was installed with a liner top packer that was pressure tested. The lower sand face completion had a fluid loss valve to prevent kill weight fluid losses to the reservoir. The well was full with kill weight fluid. Please pause here and discuss these questions. What barriers are acting at this point in the operation? Some of the barriers include casing, lower completion, liner top packer, wellhead, BOP, and kill fluid. What about the fluid loss valve? Does your company consider a closed fluid loss valve to be a barrier? The upper completion was then run into the well. The final step prior to setting the production packer was to displace the well above the liner top packer to base oil to provide an underbalanced condition for kicking off production. The brine returns were displaced directly overboard until base oil returns were detected at surface, then fluid returns were directed to the mud pits. Please pause here and discuss these questions. What are your company requirements before and during displacement to an underbalanced condition? What are your company requirements for tracking volumes during displacement? When the displacement was complete, flow was observed to continue from the well. The fluid loss valve had opened unexpectedly, allowing reservoir fluids to enter the well bore. The well was shut in promptly and pressure monitoring began on the tubing and annulus. It was estimated that an influx of over 20 cubic meters or 125 barrels had entered the well. Please pause here and discuss these questions. How did the kick enter the well? In this kick scenario, what options do you have for killing the well? The well was killed by bullheading the influx back into the reservoir. A tubing plug was deployed on wireline to allow the production packer to be set hydraulically. Completion operations were concluded and production was initiated using gas lift to create an underbalance to the formation. Please take a moment to discuss the details of this incident. Please consider what are the key steps your company would take to minimize the risk associated with this type of operation. What human factors would you expect to encounter in such a situation? The brine returns were being displaced directly overboard during the initial phase of the displacement. How does this contribute to the driller's loss of situational awareness and possibility of early detection of the influx? Could there have been any other weak signals that things were not going as expected? The crew believed that they had successfully tested the fluid loss valve to qualify it as a barrier. How could this belief have contributed to bias during the subsequent displacement operation? On behalf of IOGP, we thank you for participating.